friends, it's Susie. Today we are making pizza. You know why? Because it is National Pizza Day, February 9th. If you don't believe me, you can go ahead and Google it. But yeah, it does exist. So, what better than make our healthier version? We're trying to be fit and healthy. So, a lot of you guys know that I lost 100 pounds. And I've been maintaining this weight loss for over 5 years. The reason why is because... I do things like this like if I'm creating some junk food or anything I'll try to recreate it try to make my own version with my own ingredients with healthier ingredients that's how I think I have maintained this lifestyle because it's sustainable it's long-term I don't feel deprived I don't feel restricted and that's really really important if you're trying to live a healthier lifestyle you need to feel like you're not restricted so this is following up my last video if you didn't see it, you should go check it out I'm gonna link it down below I show you guys um, how I swap junk food for healthier versions and my substitutions and all of that so please go check that out I'm gonna link it down below I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video take note and I hope you try it because it's so good I'm gonna show you guys two versions of pizza um, I have tried the cauliflower one but I'm not gonna show you guys this one here I'm gonna show you guys uh, pizza on a low carb flatbread and pizza bites. They're so quick, easy, and healthy. So I hope you guys give it a try. So let's get started. Like I told you guys, we're gonna do two different types of pizzas. The first one we're gonna do is actually the zucchini bites. So uh, you're gonna need a zucchini. Um, this one's pretty big and it's perfect, so our bites can be actually like like not so small. You're gonna need turkey pepperoni. This is less fat than the regular one. Or um, I'm gonna add to mine this chicken sausage, Italian style. So I think that's gonna be pretty good with the pizza. And I'm probably just gonna use like half. For cheeses, of course we have to use Italian cheese. I got this reduced fat um, for cheese Italian and this one's reduced fat. We're gonna need some salt for our zucchini. And then for the next pizza, we're gonna use some flatbreads. These are super, super good because they're, like for example, this one's high fiber, 90 calories per for the whole flatbread. Look, and it's only 22 carbs, 10 fiber, and 7 grams of protein. This is really, really good high protein. Also, I just found this at Walmart. I've been looking for this forever and I didn't even know Walmart carried it. It's a Joseph's flaxseed. This one for half of it is 60 calories. Remember I told you guys, watch the nutrition facts. It's only half. Somebody else that doesn't pay attention will think it's 60 for the whole thing, but here it clearly says half a wrap. So it's 60 calories. If you eat the whole thing, it's still not bad because it's only 120 calories. It's only nine grams of carbs, four fiber, and five protein. Only 1.5 of fat. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find both of them in Walmart. And lastly, very important, pizza sauce. Make sure there's no sugar added. This one has no sugar. It's only 25 calories for one fourth cup, which is probably how much we're gonna use. So this one's just the Walmart brand. So the zucchini, you wanna cut it in slices. I would say like about an inch. When you have all your slices cut up, we're gonna put them on a plate and we're gonna add some salt and let it sit for about five minutes so all the moisture comes out. So we're gonna put them aside for 10 minutes just so all the water comes out. Okay, so now I want to show you guys the zucchini. Do you see all that water that came out? It's only been there for 8 to 10 minutes. Now the next step, you want to make sure you pat dry it really, really good. Okay, so now we're going to place each zucchini bites individually. And we're going to let them bake. Yeah. Cook in the oven for about 10 minutes. Before we put any of our toppings, we want them softer. And let's put them in there for 10 minutes. Okay, so the zucchini was in there for, do you see how soft it is? Look at this, yeah, that's how it's supposed to bounce. It was in there for about 10 minutes. And now we're gonna add our topping, the tomato sauce, and then everything else. Now we're gonna add the pepperoni. You can either cut it in little pieces to make it look cuter, but I'm just gonna put it on top like that, it's okay. All right. El queso. Queso, in English is cheese. Now we're gonna put them in there for 10 minutes or until the cheese melts. And 
so i forgot to record the end result but here it is guys first you gotta let them cool because if not you're gonna burn your mouth but they are so amazing each little bite is like probably like 10 calories so you should definitely try this one now that the appetizer is done we're gonna move on to our flatbread pizza spray the pan with spray because you don't want it to get stuck in there so here i have measured one fourth cup which is one serving um i'm not sure if i'm gonna need more but let's try this first yeah i'm gonna need more because this is a really big wrap so we're just gonna spread it So now we're going to add our cheese. Okay, so we're going to add our pepperoni. Um, you cannot add chicken breast if you don't need meat, just cheese, um, veggies, but just basically anything you like. Okay, so now we're going to add some spinach. Okay, so now we're going to put it in the oven. Basically, it's just until the cheese melts. It's going to take about 10 minutes. I'm going to keep track and then I'm going to let you guys know how long it took. Wasn't that super easy, guys? Yes. I do have another version of a low-carb or keto pizza. I'm going to link it down below. And also my sister that does keto recipes, she I think she has the one as well. So I'm going to link both of those down below. If you are looking for more keto or lower-carb um, recipes, you can follow my sister. She does amazing recipes. I do a little bit of everything. But that was it, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. And I hope you try them, like I said. They're so good. And they satisfy that craving. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I love you guys so much. Cheers and happy National Pizza Day.